all right guys here we are back out here at the rice field i got out here yesterday afternoon and uh got a couple of snares put up and the one foothold trap set back out uh hoping to get that last beaver out of here uh he's now getting here today I'm gonna get it checked uh not seeing any movement right now uh but hopefully hopefully we got that beaver caught down here uh, not sure how uh how much he's coming in here since we caught his partner out. So I don't know if he even visited last night, but hopefully we can get in here and be able to tell. Uh, something I noticed too, guys, walking in here yesterday, you can see all these raccoon tracks coming right down the edge of this thing. I mean, just, just beat down. Hopefully you guys can tell that. So if I was raccoon trapping and saw this, I'd put a trap right there right in this little gap. Either a one and a half, just blind set foothold laying there on top of the ground. Right here would be another good spot for one. Uh, I cleaned this out yesterday, so he hadn't been back in here throwing any more rice into it. got our foothold sitting right here well, basically what we did come in here this is where we had that uh that 330 set and he kept coming here and, and clog, clogging it up with grass and what i did is just kind of clean that run out just a little bit and you can tell where they're coming up here sitting on top of this levee where i'm standing right now and all i did was place this trap just right in here on kind of this little little flat bed area what we're hoping is that if he comes in here and sits sits here and looks for a minute and heads back down into that drain he's gonna gonna walk right through that little path hopefully get caught i really don't think he was in here last night right down here is our first snare that we put in this is just a uh basically a run you could tell where he'd come in here and pulled some of this rice up and it's floating around on top but this is just a run going over to the next drain in the field and he's using it to travel we've got a snare sitting right here right here in it hopefully you guys are able to see that snare there we just got it double staked over here so if he comes down through there that'll definitely have him and we put one more snare on down this this main upper side of this drain on this levee We've got a snare on it we'll go down here and, and give it a look I can still see it it's still set right there so undisturbed so he didn't come through here last night and we can see it right here between this clump of grass right through there so if he comes down through here you know his head's going to be just above water he's going to come head's going to come to that snare and it's hopefully his front feet will catch it as he comes through and get him caught around the head but anyway guys no luck this morning uh, hopefully he'll be back in here tonight we'll get him caught probably just make one video of this instead of instead of posting every day probably just do one video whole time i got these sets out we'll see how long it takes for him to come through here and get him caught but thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning all right guys we're back out here and looks like we had a visitor last night so the, he's come in here and stopped up this spill again so hopefully we got him got him out here waiting for us this morning hold on sister i'll be right back all right guys i don't know if you guys will be able to see or not but there's a huge catch circle right over here where we had this snare set 
well, let's get over here and, and see what we got. Uh, the trap's still set here, the foothold's still set. This little little runway where he was traveling through here. I sure don't see a beaver, guys. But we had one here last night. And it looks like he might have pulled our stake up. Oh, there he is. He's underneath that rice there. Seen him moving. Now he just he decided to take this rice and make him a uh, make him a little hut. Spend the night in out here in the middle of it. All right, we're gonna get him taken care of and uh, get down there and check our other snare. All right, let's see he's down here. We'll check this other snare real quick. I can see it's still set down here. We're gonna leave it one more night. All right, guys, there he is. Second check day after we got back out here last night. He didn't he didn't come through here, and then, uh, or not before last, he didn't come through. And then uh, we picked him up today, pretty good sized beaver there. And uh, I'm gonna get down here and, and get to this anchoring point and uh, get him pulled out of there. We got him caught just right behind the front arms. Well, he might have had that loop just a tad bit big. But, but it got the job done and that's really all that matters. Right there's our stakes, held him. <coughs> and basically all we had here is, uh, is that cable down to a, uh, or that snare down to a uh, cross stake with rebar. <coughs> Let's see if we can get these things out of here. Ugh. There's one of them. We'll get the other one up. There we go. There we go, guys. So that split ring, that split ring held just fine. I had a, I got an earth anchor on here, but I forgot my driver the day I set them. So I had them rebar and we just crossed them stakes and that worked just fine. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. There we go, guys. Got my. Huh? Okay, I'll come. We'll go look at them in a minute. Right there, I brought my good luck with me this morning. That's why it happened, fellas. Look at that. Tell me it ain't an ain't a Arkansas 
Arkansas girl right there wading around in a rice field. <laughs> All right, I'll get him back up here to the truck, guys, and we'll take a better look at how that snare grabbed him. All right, kiddo, back to the truck. All right, guys, so there he is. It's gonna be a second mature beaver in that bunch. Snare done just what it's supposed to do, grabbed him by the top end and held on to him. Come down to our split ring. That split ring's not damaged in the least bit. And we'll, we'll get the snare off of him and reuse all these parts of the snare to make us another one. Our rebar held like it was supposed to do. So, what turned into should have been an overnight job, we should have had this beaver and that other one caught the same night in those 330s. But uh, we ended up making a smart beaver out of him. He figured out what them 330s were, kept clogging them up for two or three nights. Then we come back in, come back in with a foothold, changed it up a little bit, changed those 330s, moved them around a little bit. And he's still clogging them up. So, went and took our trip, come back, left him alone for about a week, a little over a week. Uh, came back and set some snares up, and those snares sat there for uh, for two nights. That first night, he didn't come back in and visit, and that second night, our snare grabbed him. So, what well, should have took one night it ended up taking a couple of weeks, but uh, we stuck with it and got the job done. And, and that's what matters in the end. Uh, this beaver right here made us a smarter beaver trapper. So uh, next time I'll have a, a better idea, uh, maybe can get it done faster, or, or just uh, just learned a few things. Having to chase after him, him not making it easy, made me have to learn. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, and we'll see you next video.